Hey everyone, welcome back to TWT. My name is Lynn and um, I'm going to do another reading right now. Um, I'm going to see what is going on with this situation um, to follow up on the video that I just uploaded. Um, the energy is really bad, like really low. And it's like, I just want to know what's going to happen. I, I know what's going to happen, but I want to see what the energy is and what they have to say about the situation. All right, so let me start with the uh, RWS Vintage Tarot, which I'm gonna do. Let me do five sh uh, shuffles first, and then I'm gonna pull um, the cards after that. And then after this, I'm gonna clarify with the Light Sears Tarot. I haven't used either decks in a while, but I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna use it right now because I'm guided to. And um, after that, I'm going to get a card from the Romance Angels. And the last one is going to be from the Sexual Magic Oracle, which I just did, um, I think, yesterday, recently. And so there's going to be four decks I'm going to be using um, just to see what they say, what the advice is. And then, you know, I don't really know what's going to happen at this point, but oh, look at that. Six of Cups. <laughs> so I'm already hearing soulmate. Yeah. It's like, this one feels like a karmic soulmate. Like this one feels like, ooh, look at that, Queen of Swords. Yep. Clarity. Yep. That's true. And I feel like, you know, he's one of those karmic soulmates that I need to get rid of. I need to let it go, release. Because, yeah. It's just not, no. It's not, he's not, he's not a part of my path moving forward. He's holding me back from who I'm supposed to be. And no, no. So I know I'm supposed to, you know, meet new people, um, meet more people, have a different life. Look at that, 10 of cups. I already know that, yeah, that's going to happen in the future. That's what I want in the future. And one of the first steps to get that is, yeah, to end this cycle. Uh, put an end to this, which feels like, yeah, this is ending today, right now. And um, this is going to be the last shuffle. Yeah. So in order to get those Ten of Cups, my happiness... This needs to end, and this needs to be released and left in the past, where it's supposed to be. All right, uh, past energy. Ooh, yeah. Ooh, Ten of Swords. Yep, it's an ending. Yep, I feel it. Like, something ended today, and there's no going back to that. It's dead. <laughs> That's like the final final like there's no reviving that it's over yeah and i feel it and what about the current energy right now like i feel like because this is in the past energy this already ended um a few years ago but today this time it feels like yeah it's really over like there's no there's no regress there's no resurrecting in this look at that Ooh, judgment yep the card just popped out. Judgment. Yep. So I'm just like, whatever was done to me, whatever pain that was caused to me. Look at that. Four of pentacles. So in the future, someone's going to be holding me back. And I feel like that's going to be me. Yep. Because of this experience, I need to be a little bit more smart about who I give my energy to. And not just give it away like I used to. And this is the result of that. Yes, a karmic soulmate that needs to be released. That needs to be, seriously, like, needs to be released back into the wild. All right, this is the bottom of the deck. Look at that, nine of pentacles. Yep, that's going to be me pretty soon. Once I'm single and I've moved out and all that that's going to be me independent successful single and ready to be happy ready for those ten of cups 
All right, let me put this back um, right here. And let me clarify that with, um, you know what? Let me actually pull them up real quick. So Ten of Swords for the passenger. Yeah, that's an ending. Um, or some type of betrayal. Whatever that is, that's an ending. Um, judgment for the current energy. Yeah. I feel like right now is the judgment. Yep. And in the future is going to be the Four of Pentacles. I'm going to be holding back. It's like I already know. <laughs> I'm going to be holding back until I get to know someone better and and to see if they deserve more. If they don't, chopped, cut off, blocked, move on, let them go. Next. Yeah. All right. Um, let me uh, get the Light Sierra's Tarot to clarify these cards. So let me do um, Five of Cups. Yeah, a loss. Nine of Swords. Temperance. Ace of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles. Eight of Swords. Okay, so let me uh, go back to the past and clarify the Ten of Swords. I just realized something like, you know, you don't treat an Empress like that. You just don't. And an Empress doesn't put up with that. That is Knight of Swords. That's what it is. It's like, nope. Mm -mm. And once, so once someone crosses the line or like disrespects you in some way or like just treats you bad in some way you just like nope we're done ace of wands for the current energy to clarify the judgment yep so that's what i did like there's no thinking about it there's no fighting nope once you know what you want once you know who you are and once you know your boundaries once you know that you deserve better there's no thinking. You just do it. You end something. Then you, the, oh, look at that. Ten of Cups again. Yep. It's like you need you end something that needs to end. And you pursue something that leads to your happiness. That's how, that's how simple it is. But people make things complicated. People make something simple way more complicated than it really is when they don't know what they want. And when they want to prolong the conflict, that's how things get complicated. But if you're trying to avoid conflict and you're smart about things and you know what you want, like things become more simple to you. You make decisions very quickly. Things happen quickly. You don't waste any time. And it may seem like, oh my gosh, that happens so quickly. It's not that. It's more like, you just learn to cut out all of the BS. You learn to cut out time wasters. You learn to stop wasting time. And you make things happen quicker. That's how I see it. Um, bottom of the deck is 10 of ones. Yep, that burden right there, gone. As soon as I made the, the, the decision to end this, and once I knew that it was over and, you know, there's no coming back to this, doors closed, it's over, there's a revival, the burden is also gone. So part of the ending is also getting rid of this burden. So it's like, it may feel like a loss at that time, but it's really about what you're gaining. And you may be losing someone, you may be losing... A relationship you may be losing a future with someone but you're also gaining yourself you're losing this baggage you leave it behind with the past 
you also gain a better perspective. You become stronger. And guess what? You also gain a better relationship. You gain a better person. So it's like you have to let go of something. You have to let go of something that's not working in order to get something better. That's how I see it. So it may feel like a loss, but it's not really a loss. It's an upgrade. <laughs> All right, let me put this away. All right. And then um, for the Romance Angels, let me do four shuffles for the Emperor. Retreat. Engagement. Codependency. Pay attention to the red flags. Yep, that came out before. And it's coming out again. Pay attention to the red flags. Because when you do, you will know what they are. And you will know when something's toxic. And you will know when to end something. All right. <clears throat> Message for you. Go. All right, while I'm with the deck is playfulness. To recapture romance, allow your inner you. <clears throat> I can't read. Okay. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. Okay. And then now we're going to get one card from the sexual magic oracle. So let me do <clears throat> four shuffles for the emperor. And we'll see which card comes up for you. Well, it's really for us because it's for me and for you. So we'll see what comes up. What is the message for you? Well, for us. Here we go. All right, bottom of the deck <clears throat> is Conquest. Wow. Okay, you can put this away. All right, so from the Romance Angels, what's your message? Soulmate. Oh my God. Yep. Yes, this is your soulmate. Yep. And I remember I just said that too. Like I had a feeling that he was a soulmate. But he was a karmic soulmate. And this is the confirmation that yes, he is a soulmate. But he's not the good kind. He's a karmic soulmate. Which means he's here to teach me a lesson. And once the lesson is learned, we both move on. At least I move on because the longer I stay in this situation, the more toxic it's going to become. The more toxic, toxic he's going to become and the more toxic I become. And basically, I'm just going to go backwards instead of going forward. And then the sexual magic oracle. Wrath. Yep. <laughs> yes. My rap came out today. You saw that. You saw it in the video because I was pissed off. I was mad. I had it. You've seen the end of my rope. And that's how I get when I am mad. It takes a lot for me to get mad. But once I get mad, when I'm upset, when I'm pissed off, oh my God, that's it. I'm done. <laughs> So when you see me get that upset, it's over. So if, if you want to keep me in your life, don't piss me off. Don't wait until I'm at that point. Don't cause that. Because when I get to that point, it's over. <laughs> it's over. Like there's no coming back to that. There's no, 
I'm sorry. Can we talk? No. It's like you've had plenty of chances to try and make it work. You've gotten plenty of chances. But you chose not to. Instead of, you know, working on things, you wasted time. And so it got to the point where, like, I'm like, okay, I'm done. <laughs> That's it. No more. Doors closed. We're over. You're dead. This is done. There's no coming back. And the door is closed. It's locked. And it will never open. Ever. Ever. You can keep knocking. Keep back, you can keep banging on the door. You can keep peeking. You can announce yourself that you're there. You can call. Whatever. But guess what? The door is going to stay closed. Someone else may open it when you're there, but you're not going to see me. Because I don't live there anymore. <laughs> yeah. So when I say it's over and the door is closed, it's over. <laughs> so what you have is basically the memories of me. And that's all you have. That's all you're going to get. And that's it. So you're going to wish that you didn't act that way and you're going to wish that you were better but because you waited until it was too late that's what happens you reach the end of my rope and once you reach the end of my rope it's over <laughs> yeah okay let me put this together and um let's see what it says so ten of swords with the Knight of Swords. So we have two swords here in the past energy. So Ten of Swords is an ending. Like ending. It's over. There's no going back to that. It's dead. And the Knight of Swords is like rushing in. So somebody can be like weighing the pros and cons, seeing both sides of the story, you know, like rushing back to try to fix things. But like I said, once it's over, especially me, once I reach that point where I say it's over, it's over. So you could rush in, you could try to make things work, you can try to talk, you can try this, you can try that. But once it's over for me, it's over. It's like, it's like, where were you when I was here? Where were you when I wanted to talk, when I wanted to work things out, when I cared, when I was here? You had chances, you had time. But instead of using that, you wasted time, you played games, and you played so many games, you thought it was a game when my emotions were real, but you thought it was a game. So when, when once I said it's over, you didn't think it was gonna happen, but it did. And when you realized that I was gone, and I'm done, and it's over, the door's closed. There's no coming back to that. That's when you realize, oh, she's serious. Yeah. So all that rushing in and, you know, attempts to fix it and any attempt that you have to try to fix it, salvage the situation, you can try all you want, but it's over. Yeah. This, this thing is dead. Like you can't bring back a corpse to life. It's dead. So just give it some dignity and give it a proper burial. Give it a funeral, bury it, let it rest in peace, honor its memory, and then just start over and try, to make, try not to make the same mistake next time so that you can avoid this, another funeral. So for the current energy, yeah, it's judgment. So what just happened just now, this morning, was part of the judgment. I knew it. I felt it. And to this person, my ex-husband, basically, he never, he never saw that side of me. I mean, or at least he's seen it before, but he didn't think I was serious when... I was like, yeah, um, it's over. So for him, that was like 
a new side of me he's never seen. So to him, that was the beginning of something. But to me, that was the end. So <laughs> that was basically, that was the end. And that's when judgment came. I'm at the end while he's just beginning to see reality. So yeah, it's too late. <laughs> just when he started to take things seriously, I'm out. I'm done. It's over for me. So there's no relationship. And for the future energy, um, the four of pentacles came out and the ten of cups came out as well. So yeah, what I'm getting is that in the future, this hasn't happened yet, but it's going to happen. Yeah, I'm going to be a little bit more careful next time around. Um, I'm going to hold back a little bit more my heart. I'm going to be more discerning of who I give my heart and my energy and time to. I'm going to be more critical. I'm going to use my my head. I'm going to be more picky because I want to avoid this type of situation and this type of person. And because I want to avoid this from happening again, I'm going to be smarter in choosing who I allow in my life. And because of that, once I do that, once I'm smarter, then I will get my happiness, which is the Ten of Cups. <laughs> so I already know that <clears throat> because I saw it before, this is part of the process. This is a part of the path to happiness. I have to release something in order to get my happiness. So yeah, um, I mean, it's shocking at first, but when I see it this way, it makes sense. Yeah. So from the romance angels, yes, this is my soulmate. Um, for you, this may also be your soulmate. And th that may be why it's very hard to let this go. That's your choice. You let it go or you don't. That's your choice. But for me, my choice is to let this go because he may be a soulmate, but he's a karmic soulmate. Yeah, he's the kind of soulmate that needs to be released, let go, cut off, blocked. Yep. I learned my lesson. And now it's time for me to move on to something better. And um, from the sexual magic or, um, oracle, yeah, wrath came out. Yep, mine came out today. And you saw that for those of you that saw the video. Yeah, it came out. I reached the end of my rope. I reached my boiling point. I, re I reached my end. And when I reached my end, that means that I'm done. And when I'm done, that means it's over. Yeah, so reaching the end to me also means the relationship has reached its end. And once the relationship has reached its end, that means that it's over. Yeah. And when something is over, it needs to be left behind in the past, all right? So um, I hope I helped you in some way and um, I will talk to you again soon, bye.